to avoid becoming a theory that explains everything, and therefore nothing. Multiverse scientists add one last idea. We should expect to live in a typical universe. Here's the logic. Out of infinite universes, only some can support intelligent life. Since we're intelligent observers, we'd obviously be in one of those. But not all life-friendly universes are like. Some could have one galaxy, some could have billions. Some might have unicorns or talking clouds. So which kind should we expect to be in? Their answer, we should live in a universe that's average, typical among all universes that support intelligent life. Not too rare, not too wild, just normal. This is called the principle of mediocrity. We're not special, just ordinary. That's what gives the multiverse its one actual prediction, that our universe should look typical. And it makes the theory falsifiable. Because if our universe looks weird or rare, that's a major strike against the multiverse. But here's the thing. Our universe doesn't look typical at all. It's unbelievably huge, over 100 billion galaxies. Do we really need that many just for life to exist? One galaxy should be more than enough. Actually, you don't even need a whole galaxy. In an infinite multiverse, the simplest observers should be Boltzmann brains, random floating brains that pop into existence with fake memories. Bloop. As crazy as that sounds, basic calculations say they show up far more often than real people in an infinite multiverse. So now multiverse scientists are stuck arguing that our massive, orderly galaxy-filled universe is somehow average. It's a hard sell. And next, we hit the biggest problem of all.